Today, our entire organization is mourning the passing of our matriarch. Norma Hunt was an amazing woman. And our hearts, our thoughts, our prayers are with the entire Hunt family. Lots of emotions today when Kansas City football royalty finally got a chance to meet the leader of the free world. COVID kept the Chiefs away from the White House the last time they were Super Bowl champions in 2020. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm Kevin Barry. The champs' long-awaited trip this year peppered in some light moments with remembering, like they said, the matriarch of the Chiefs' family. Star tight end Travis Kelsey nearly hit pay dirt when no one was paying attention with an open field to an open mic. So I've been waiting for this. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Patrick and Travis, can you guys just say what moment stood out from today? Um, other than Travis going to the mic, uh, <laughs> I, I would say, I think it was uh, getting to see like the Oval Office. But their history lessons and day of celebration comes while the team is in mourning. Norma Hunt died on Sunday, more than 60 years after her husband Lamar Hunt founded the American Football League and the team that would become the Kansas City Chiefs. Norma was a joyful soul. So she loved her Chiefs. She was really proud of this team and really proud that they had the opportunity to be here today. She's being recognized tonight as a huge part of the team and the NFL in her own right, attending every Super Bowl since the first in 1967. Her last one ended with her own Chiefs raising the Lombardi Trophy. Obviously, we, we wish she was here and she got to experience this with us, um, but we're glad that we kind of got to celebrate her by being here today. Um, and uh, there's no better way to celebrate her than having the Lamar Hunt Trophy, having the Super Bowl Trophy, and being at the White House showing how great the Kansas City Chiefs organization is. With more than 60 years in the Metro and now three Super Bowl championships. I could just picture her with Lamar up in heaven. You know, I, I just see that. And they're united again. I think it's awesome. Union Station remembered Norma Hunt last night when they dimmed the normally very bright light display on the outside of that building. They also lit up the fountains and the southern facade red and gold for the Chiefs.